You are welcome to another video of the course Network Automation and Service Orchestration using Cisco NSO. RESCON protocol is another northbound connection method to Cisco NSO. Therefore, in this section, we are going to manage devices via RESCON protocol but using Postman software. In the next section, we will have the same topic but using Python script. From beginning of the course, we learned how to connect to the Cisco NSO via CLI, GUI, and Python API. Magic library in this section, we will learn about a new and the most modern method, RESCON protocol, to configure network devices through the Cisco NSO. In this section, we will use existing NSO Postman collections to take advantage of Postman capabilities and in the next section we will use python request library to connect to nso and manage network devices to get started with this section make sure you download and install the free postman software in the first step we download existing cisco nso postman collections and import them into local postman software Cisco NSO Postman collection can be downloaded from github github.com NSO developer Cisco NSO Postman or exported from online Postman collections you can find the link to Cisco NSO online collections on the Cisco developer websites docs NSO and NSO Postman collections and run in Postman's and then here you will search for the cisco nso online postman collections here and then we will export the collection to the local computer export and in the local postman software we will import what we have exported from the online version NSO sample API request postman collection and we will replace all the libraries that I have already downloaded into my local postman replace if you download from github you need to import the JSON files into your local postman software but the other options is to export from online postman collection and then import it into your local postman software now if we check local postman software a new folder name nso sample api request will be added to your local postman software if you examine the subcategories you will see apis that allow you to view the configuration of the devices to change the configuration of devices for example device config management create new loopback or edit new loopback IP address also you can remove the configuration or you can add the configuration using different HTTP methods or you can also run the operational data in enable mode for example send any enable command to the network devices as an example here show IP interface brief command importing NSO collections also download new environment variable to your local postman software in the upper right pane of the postman software you will see a list of environment variable environment variable whose names contains nso are downloaded with the new postman collection for example this one with clicking the button environment quick look at the upright section of the postman software you can see the variables configured and also their values the configured variables are protocol, NSO IP, 
NSO HTTP port, username, password, and sample iOS device, and the values are connect to connect to Cisco sandbox, NSO lab in the sandbox environment, in the Cisco website. If you select one of the rest conf requests in the NSO collection, for example, view device config and then show interfaces, you will see that this variable are used in the URL protocol NSO IP, NSO HTTP port, sample iOS device and this variable will be replaced with the values configured in the selected environment variable when we run the restconf request we change the value of the variables according to our NSO configuration NSO IP address is 192.168.2.101 we use HTTP port 8080 and the username password admin admin and the device on which I will send the RESCOM protocol is rotor with the name of R1 after changing the value of the environment variable just to check an example in the subcategory view device config there is a restconf request called show interfaces which is used to display the list of the interfaces in the rotor r1 the http method is get because we will only read the configuration from the network device the url or pass to get an interesting part of the configuration can be extracted using cisco nso display x pass option which will be discussed in a few minutes also discussed in the previous sections in the authentication tab you can manually change the authentication information for example basic authentication and the username admin and the password admin but this is not necessary as it is already configured in the environment variable when we send the request by clicking send button the result code will be displayed at the bottom of the software the code 200 means that the request was processed successfully and the device responded to our request the list of interfaces with json format is displayed here in the output for example interface loopback and the ip address and interface another interface loopback and the ip address gigabit ethernet one and the ip address gigabit ethernet two and we can also copy the json output and check it in a notepad file to make it clear the list of interfaces look back 100 150 gigabit ethernet 1 2 and 3 are the list of interfaces already in the rotor r1 another interesting feature of postman is that for each restconf api you can have a corresponding code snippet of your interesting programming language if you click on the code sign you can select your programming language and find the code that execute this restconf request via a script which is the main topic of the next section in which we manage network devices through restconf protocol with python script as an example the language python with the library request or any other language that you are interested if we select for example python request language you will see the code snippet to get the list of the interfaces through the python script which we will run in the next section in the code snippet you see a 
URL variable which points to the interesting part of the configuration to get the list of interfaces. As you learned in the Python magic library, you can find the path to any section of the configuration easily and through the Cisco NSO display XPath option. Let's try to find the path to get the list of interfaces using Cisco NSO XPath function and compare it with the XPath used in Postman API. If I connect to the Cisco NSO, which already I'm connected and then show running config devices and then device and rotor R1 config device R1 config and then interfaces and then display X pass. You see that the all configuration related to the interfaces including loopback interfaces and gigabit ethernet 1 and 2 and 3 interfaces are in the same path devices device r1 config ios interfaces we check again in the postman after rest conf api after rest conf data devices device r1 config ios interfaces as you can see the same path is used also in the Postman API to show or change the configuration. Just to see one another example, let's run an operational command in a network device through Postman ResConf example. We run show IP interface brief command in the rotor R1, which will be run through Cisco NSO live status feature the http method to execute an operational command in a network device is post command because we need to send a command to the network devices the url can also be found through the python magic directory option and cisco nso x pass feature as we have also done in the python magic library examples in the previous section but it is still easier to get the url from sample postman collections easily download the uh, online postman collections to see the path to send any operational command to network devices in the body of the rest conf request we send the command itself as an argument into input variable here we send show ip interface brief command to network devices with running the request the list of interfaces and their ip address will be returned back i hope so the result is a 200 which is successful that means we have now the list of the interfaces in the format of JSON. Let's check, but not uh, in the native Yang data model, but also in the normal show IP interface brief command. Let's check the output. As you can see, for example, gigabit Ethernet 1, the IP address and the loopback 100, the IP address and loopback 150 and the IP address. Get and post are not the only HTTP methods to get or add the configuration from or to network devices, but other HTTP commands, including patch and delete, are also used with RESTCONF API to change or delete the configuration. In the next section, we will see examples from all HTTP methods through Python request library.